Hello, hello, hello. Thank you very much for tuning into Life with Sunshine on Wheels. Of course, it's your girl Shayna, and I'm here with another video. Now, before we get started, I know you're noticing that you may have seen this shirt in two other videos before this one. I want to let you all know it's still the same day. It's nothing going on. It's just that I've decided that I want to be consistent with sharing my videos with you all. And if I'm able to do more than one video in a day, then that's what I will do in order to stay consistent with what I'm doing. So I want to share with you all that I have a video coming up. I'm going to share with me making Merlin crab soup. Yes. Now, Shania and I, and I'm also crocheting while I'm talking to you all, Shania and I had decided to make Merlin crab soup as well as chicken noodle soup. Now, I do have a video already for the chicken noodle soup, but I don't think I did one for the Merlin crab soup. So, I'm going to show you all that video, and of course, it has pictures and things and of like that in the video. Now, if you want to see the chicken noodle soup, Go back in the videos and you can find homemade chicken noodle soup. But I decided that I wanted to make some Merlin crab soup. These were crabs that were brought live and we had steamed them, uh, I want to say in August. We steamed them the end of August and I put them in the freezer because I wanted to save them to make the soup. And so I decided to make soup on sunday that just passed i made some soup and i made a lot of it and i was able to store some in freezer bags to keep you know throughout the fall and hopefully the winter so that way i don't have to cook i could just pull out a bag of soup and you know put it in the crock pot and let it warm up so i want you all to enjoy this video on shania and i making merlin crab soup and if you haven't done so, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend in the comment section, place what you would like for me to make next and maybe I'll do it. All right. I hope you all enjoy the video and I'll be right back. That one. All right. So I'm here opening up crabs for the famous Merlin crab soup. As you see here, I have my crab and I'm going to go ahead and open it. If it don't fight with me. All right, and now this part of the crab, I'm going to use this to make my crab stock. I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so these are the shells that we're going to use to make the stock with. These are the top of the crab shells, and some of them have the fins on it. And remember, this is what we're going to use for the stock. And we're going to be adding in a half of an onion, Half a celery, leave it whole, do not cut it up. We just using it for the build up the stock. All right, be back. Okay, y'all, so the crabs that I did steam, they weren't big crabs. They were like medium-sized female crabs. And what I did was, like I said, I did steam them, I froze them. And so here they are, thawed out. And this is the part of the crab that I will put in once I add in all the vegetables. Now, I did show you all a video of me opening up one crab in the top shell of that crab. I used the shell to make the broth. This is homemade broth here, no store broth. So I used those to make the broth. But these crabs here, they will go in once the vegetables are mixed in. So I'll be back with another one all right my sunshine so right now this is the crab shells that is boiling for the merlin crab soup you see that there there it's boiling it's nothing but the shells um a little bit of old bay seasoning garlic powder onion powder and it's doing nothing but boiling and what i'm going to do is allow it to boil until it reduced down to almost much of nothing. But right now, this is what it looks like. This is the broth for that crab soup. I'll be back to show you more. All right, so right now we have the mixed vegetables, diced tomatoes, onions, and celery cooking in the pot with the crab broth. And then next up, we're going to add the crab, but we add the crab at the very end because the crabs is already cooked. 
All right, be back. All right, now the end is almost here. We have now added the crabs to the soup and gonna let it simmer for around about a good 10, 15 minutes, not too long because we don't want those crabs to be mushy and the crab soup will be done. Be back soon. All right, y'all, I know the bowl is small, but this is the finished touch on the Maryland crab soup. I couldn't decide if I wanted my Maryland crab soup or if I wanted chicken noodle soup. Yes, it's two soups today. Chicken noodle soup and crab soup. Both of them are delicious. But in the beginning, Shania forced me. I wouldn't say forced. She tricked me into eating the chicken noodle soup because that's her favorite homemade chicken noodle soup. So... She got me into it, and I did it, and it is the bomb kaboom. But then you move over here to the crab soup in the small bowl because it's just busting, too. It is good. Both soups are good. Compliments to my sous chef, Shania, and me. And we did it again. We made another hot one and another one and another one. All right. So I thank you all very much for tuning in to watch this video. I'll be back with more. Bye. All right, my family. I hope you all enjoyed the video on the Maryland Crab Soup. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and tell a friend to tell a friend. In the comment section below, please state what you would like for me to make yet make and show it on youtube don't forget to share and tell me what you want me to try to fix yet maybe i'll do it you never know so i want to say tell you all again thank you very much you all be blessed you all be safe and have a good one i love you and bye